The plan by coming here to the boot camp was first to just be together because we didn't qualify for New York and didn't have so much tournaments uh, the past few weeks. So we just well, didn't want to have like a warm month where we were just stayed at home. Uh, we knew that in our past it wasn't good. So the first plan was just to be together, to be more prepared in our minds that we are going to a tournament after. Uh, we added some new stuff, uh, we changed some our game style, we changed a lot of things like because we won the last land so we wanted to change a bit uh, coming to all the tournaments. It didn't go as well as we wanted I guess honestly. Um, it was not bad, but we didn't manage to to be on point uh, at the end of the boot camp. We did the job, but we didn't have enough practice, I would say, to be sure that everything is, is smooth and clean. We still have some details to fix. Unlikely, we didn't win our official match. Yes, probably. Or we didn't have the maximum points, so it's the only black point for me as a coach in the bootcamp. I'm kind of confident, like overall we did the job, we just didn't have enough practice to be sure like uh, everything is perfect. Uh, we don't put as many echoes uh, as we were doing like uh, before. And we have solution, we found solution, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be better and uh, yeah, let's see. Going up against Clan 9 at Ely, uh, I definitely think it's going to be really hard. Uh, I know, like, for example, personally, I don't like to play American teams. Uh, uh, we are not used to play against them, of course, because we're not practicing against them. So we don't really have a big idea or about how they're going to play or what is their strengths, their weaknesses, or stuff like this. So it's going to be definitely a way harder match when you don't really know your opponent. I think uh, because of Nicholas we'll have a pretty good idea how they will play and uh, and uh, yeah it's gonna be a tough match. As usual it would be the first match of the tournament. We didn't do an offline tournament since a long time so it's gonna be a tough match. But um, my goal as a coach is to face Astralis after. Uh, I think they, they're gonna beat Fnatic and I want to beat them as much as they beat us in this boot game. Uh, I think of course the biggest uh, teams will be Faiz and Astralis because uh, uh, these days they are showing uh, a really good level of Counter-Strike. Uh, we'll just see if we face them. Uh, I don't want to go too much in the future, you know, first. Let's see Cloud9 and after we'll see. So yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a like, we want, we want to face them, we want to face Astralis and show them how it is offline. We did the work uh, we had to do. Uh, of course, you always think like you, you could do more. But I guess we are fine with the work we put in since we back from Malmo. Uh, now it's just a matter of time when we will be used to the new things and be able just to, 
to play, I would say, normally, by not always thinking, okay, I should do this, should do this. Because it's not, uh, at the moment, uh, automatic for everyone. I think we started really slow with the team. Uh, we had like some amazing players on paper, but we really start from zero. Like it was really hard at the beginning to to find a synergy and to to make them play like really good together. And uh, so I think like we did a really long way already, and uh, we achieved like some good things, like winning tours and ESL Pro League uh, was a really big objective and uh, we changed our play style after after these two tournaments because like player was we are not like feeling so much confident in this play style and stuff even if we were winning and we found on another way to to win tournaments so i think it's the biggest achievement of the year like we found two way and to to win championships so so yeah I'm really proud of it. Hey guys, did you know every time you watch a video and you don't subscribe, we lose a pistol round. So please, subscribe.